Okay, y'all, so I have joined the ChatGPT bandwagon. I was curious about how I can use this conversational chat-based artificial intelligence, you know, technology in my professional and personal life, especially since there are 13 million daily active users using this technology and Microsoft has a multi-year, multi-billion dollar investment. I have generated some questions and going to share my experience with you so you can determine if you are joining this bandwagon as well. I do have a separate video on how to create an account and how to generate your own questions. So let's get started. The first one I created was to focus around, you know, content creators who are, you know, create needing titles for a video or for a blog post or, you know, even help them come up with general ideas for their content. And so I created one, provide 10 YouTube titles for my topic. And these are really good topics. I'm also looking at some of these to use and create some videos that I haven't even thought about doing. I thought that was very good. For the work world, I, you know, created a marking flower for my topic. In this case was Microsoft 365 training webinar. And this is a good start. You know, I started thinking about, you know, administrative assistants who may have to create these invitations and not sure how to start that they could use this because it gives you a header. You can create your subheading. It gives you bodies ideas and even a placeholder to put your event details in and call to action. This was a really good start to help creating marketing flyers. I thought about icebreakers, you know, thinking of the corporate world again, and for, you know, small businesses, having a icebreaker ideals for a sales team and think about how you usually go to the internet and type in the same type questions. And you may have to go from one website to another blog post and to another blog post to finally get something that you want. For me, I felt like this gave me everything that I needed in um, one place. And if you wasn't happy with these down at the bottom, you can say regenerate um, a response and see what you get. But at least you're not navigating from website to website. So I thought that was good. Again, thinking of, you know, administrative assistants, there are times where they may have to come up with guidelines and best practices. So I said, okay, generate corporate conference room booking guidelines. And I was looking here, they had check availability, reserve the room, best practices for specific number of attendees. I thought this was um, also a good start, a good draft for someone to use. And then I took it a little further because I was concerned. I was con my phone. I was a little concerned about, you know, at a legal standpoint. And so I typed in language for a website privacy policy. I like how they gave you a disclaimer. You know, here is an example of the language that can be used for a website. They're not saying that this is concrete, you should use it. I still would recommend that you get a, um, a lawyer involved to kind of help you uh, with this privacy policy, depending on what industry you are in. Maybe if I would have said website privacy policy for a blogger, maybe I would have generated something different that I would be comfortable with. That made me go to saying, okay, what about generating rules for joining a social media group? We see this all the time when we have these private um, groups. I looked here and these were really good to, to the point to where I would use these instead of going you know, I call it group hopping, going group hopping, group hopping, and, and looking and seeing what others have to kind of create your own. So the next one that I was toying with, playing around with is what about writing a sponsorship letter? At this point, you know, cause I did a few of them, I felt like I wanted to be really specific 
in what I wanted to generate for me. Here I wrote, write a thank you letter for a contribution of $2,500 to support the Youth Foundation, which will help purchasing computers. And I like what they provided. Um, this was a really good letter. And because I was really specific in the dollar amount and what it was used for, that it gave me a very good letter that I could use. Then I wanted to test and see how well it would give me a summary from a transcript from a conference call or from a meeting. And so I just went out on the internet and grabbed Microsoft investors um, earning release to put it in here. Now, the original document was about, you know, 25 pages or so. I posted it all in there and it did not do well. I found that, you know, about 2,500 words, um, it did give me a summary. So let me just click here. It gave me a nice summary on the information that was provided in that conference. Think about if you have a Zoom meeting or you have that transcript, you can get this system to summarize it for you. So I can see utilizing that for sure. So I also tried writing a video script based on a how to technical step by step in instructions, put the question in there, write a one minute video script it, and it gave me something. I'm not sure that I would actually use this just because, you know, I knew already knew the steps and it wasn't really um, straightforward on the steps that I have. If you struggle with coming up with the words and your language and your tone for your script, it can help you in that sense. But for me in this one, I definitely would not use it. And I said, well, maybe I wasn't specific enough because I do have this video already created. I changed the title a little bit and just said using notepad. I feel like you have to be really specific in what you want. And last one, I wanted to see how it would handle analytics. I went to YouTube and downloaded my daily views starting, you know, May of 2021 and said, summarize this for me by month. And there were about, you know, 600 lines of um, Excel data in here. And so it did give me a quick summary, but it stopped at September 2021. It didn't, you know, give me all of my data. That was a little, little strange. I did do this in several ways. So I asked, you know, about the YouTube daily views for the first quarter. Once again, I like how it gave me this, this download. Um, but when I was asking for the first quarter of 2022, why did it give me April and why did it give me May? Um, yeah, so it needs to still a little bit work, you know, around the analytics side. I'm not sure if it just could not handle the number of rows that I um, pasted in, in here, um, but I just thought it was strange that it definitely just did not give me that first quarter. Okay, so let me know how you feel about the chat GPT. Are you getting on this bandwagon? Um, I will continue to use it. I do know that they do update it um, very often. If you click on updates, and frequently asked questions, it will let you know what the latest update is. It's only going to get better and it's going to really help, you know, millions of people. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Stay connected because I'm sure that I will be making more videos about this technology.